Hello people, TF32 is back, finally. There's been a reason why I've been holding up this review for so long. One, I was monumentally busy with work, um, reading, though that isn't really much of it. I went to a church retreat, then I went to camp, and I lost all of my time to be able to do this. I even went on vacation, and I didn't even make videos for it. July was a very, very busy month for me, but now it's August, and now I can record a lot more. So, this review, it's not actually going to be a gameplay video, which is good, because I've been playing video games all day today, and I need to give my brain a rest so I can regain my sanity. And it'll be formatted a lot like the Mario game collection. This is the Kirby game collection. Kirby is one of my all-time favorite game franchises, and, well, those who have, who, those who are Kirby fans, you'll know why I'm just going to be reviewing them, like, the same format as the Mario game collections. It's because each game is really big, it takes forever. They're all really good, though. So, enjoy. Now, as a bit of a side, no, I don't really have that many games for Kirby, as opposed to the many Mario games I had, so this one's going to be pretty short, which is a good thing, because usually my reviews take forever, compared to other channels here on YouTube. I'm just going to go from old to new, so the oldest game that I have is Kirby Superstar Ultra. This is by far the best edition of Kirby. It recreates the original Kirby Superstar from the Super Nintendo, adds a lot more games, resolves some glitches that really ruined the gameplay, and I've played Kirby Superstar, and I actually played this first, which was a really bad thing, because Superstar by itself, it wasn't too bad, aside from some glitches, but switching over from this to Kirby Superstar is just really bad, because you have to put up with all those glitches and all that. You can use helpers, as seen here, you got like Knuckle Joe, Wild Do, Wild D, Sir Kibble, all that. It's a good game, and I would definitely recommend it. The best game out there for Kirby. The next game is Kirby's Epic Yarn. Um, this one, it... I don't think this one was intentionally supposed to come out. The other one, I believe, was Return to Dreamland, but that didn't come out till later, and I'll be getting to that in a bit. This is the first game where Kirby does not inhale things or fly, which I guess makes things a little bit shitty, but... You get a whip, and you can attack foes with it, you can grab them, you can throw them at enemies, and you get all these neat abilities, you can turn into a dolphin, a flying saucer, and... King Fluff, is it, is it? King Fluffy? I'll have to put it in the annotations. Um, yeah. And you fight all the bosses, with DDD being the hardest, as opposed to Midnight being the hardest everywhere. It's, it's a bit of an odd game, and I'd probably say this is the easiest of the games, because you can't die. And this has, beyond any doubt, the second easiest ending boss of all time. The first being Ninja Turtles for the NES with Donatello. Too bad I didn't get to see, you guys didn't get to see him there. But now we have probably the most advanced of the Kirby games, Return to Dreamland. Here all the helpers are gone, which kind of makes me a little neglected, but you can play as Wild D with a spear. You can play as DDD and Mad Knight. I always wonder what would happen if we had DDD as a helper, because he's usually the enemy, but sometimes he's on Kirby's side, and for this game and fourth, I believe, he, after that, he is always on Kirby's side. You get a super ability with all the things. You get, like, a big sword. You can get a hammer. It's pretty cool. You can play four players, so it's like New Super Mario Wii. Um, so many things you can do. It's a lot of fun. 
Yeah, you can even do a super inhale, but I'll leave all that for you to discover. And this one will probably take the longest to get through. This is the Dream Collection. It's an updated version of the challenge mode from Return to Dreamland. And it's a, it also has a compilation of the of six Kirby games. Those games being Dreamland, Adventure, which I really think is bad. Dreamland's probably the worst because it's where Kirby starts off weak. Dreamland 2, Superstar, Dreamland 3, and Kirby 64, the Crystal Shards. And there's also a music CD, much like the Mario and Zelda did. And as you saw, I still have, I do actually have the, um, the Mario 25th Anniversary one. And you get, and you get, like, a history booklet, much like Mario. You got, like, a timeline, all the pictures and all that. It's the same idea as the Mario 25th Anniversary. And this is the box where you get the Dream Collection. And new challenge stages. And this game really did not take that long for me to beat. It only took me, like, about a half hour to beat the final stage. So it's pretty good. And yeah, that's it. That is my entire Kirby compilation. I'm definitely missing out on other games like Canvas Course and there's like this game on the DS, I forget what it's called. Annotation Time. So yeah, that is my Kirby game compilation. As for what's coming next, it was originally supposed to be Tomb Raider, but I don't have a PS1 memory card, and I don't really know too much about the game, so that one's probably not going to be coming out till December. My next review is going to be Crash Bandicoot 4 for the PS2. I'm very familiar with that game. I have a lot of fun playing it. I'm probably just going to play a couple stages and show you the various abilities that you get. And... I was going to explain more, but that this video is not about that. I'll talk about the game when I get to it. Also, also stay tuned for the rest of my YY World 2 walkthrough. Go on the TF32 review channel to see my extras, perfect runs, and all that. And my minimalist run will be coming right after YY World 2. So, until then, this is the Friends of 32 signing out. Have a great night, and stay tuned for our updates.